If you've been thinking about starting a business, sub right here, this is the video for you. I have some tips for you and some things I've learned as being a business owner that I wanna share with you. So let's get right into the video. What is up guys, this is Justin. Thank you so much for coming to another one of my videos. Well, today we're going to be talking about what you need to know before you start a business, some tips that I have that I've learned along the way that I wanna share with you, and also just some experiences and some other things that I have that I think might be helpful before you make the leap, you make the jump into being a business owner. So let's get right into it. So if you've been thinking about wanting to start a business today, I wanna let you know that it is not going to be easy. It's not just gonna come super easy. Money's not gonna just fall off the tree and land in your pocket. It's actually going to be super difficult. It's gonna be hard. You're gonna have to work long hours after your day job or whatever, you're gonna have to work long hours, it's gonna be difficult, you're gonna have to do things that you don't wanna do, and there's gonna be nobody there to tell you how to do it, when to do it, what to do, what laws to follow, what equipment to buy, anything. You're gonna have to find that within yourself to get up and get motivated to want to work those long hours. Get up and get motivated to do the right things, to not procrastinate, to put, to follow all those laws, to do your research and find out what markets, what's your audience, who's your customer, all these different things. Now there's no supervisor telling you, you have a deadline, you have a due date, you, I need you to do this and do that. You have to find that within yourself. And so that's one hard thing. And this isn't for everybody. Some people just aren't meant to do it. But if you can find your passion, if you can find your desire, if you can find that something that gives you motivation and drive to do this, and you can put that and put it into action and not be lazy, get up and you can get things done, then man, you have so much potential. You have so much drive. You have so much things that you can accomplish if you just put it in the right place. So today I'm gonna give you five tips to help you get started with your new business or side hustle. So let's get right into tip number one. So the first step to starting a business is to research and learn. You need to understand what you're getting yourself into. You need to understand licensing, permits, and the laws associated with your business. Are you or aren't you allowed to do this in your area? Do you need a special permit or license to sell this type of product in your area? You need to look at city, county, and state level laws and licensing and businesses and stuff. Do a bunch of research and learn and understand. You also need to understand your customer or who your customer is. Like if you wanted to start a rental company business, do they want good cars? Do they want cheap cars? Do they want SUVs or gas savers? Do they not want cars at all? They want like trucks, whatever, whatever it is. You need to learn and understand your customers. You also need to learn and understand your competition. If there's somebody else doing the same thing that you wanna do in your area, that's fine. That's actually really good because you can study what their business model is, you can study who their customers are, and you can just change yourself a little bit and pivot. You can do it faster, better, more convenient, cheaper. Whatever your pivot is, you can do it a little bit better or different from your competition, but you can learn from what they're doing. And last, you need to know what skills and equipment you need to do and have for your business. So if you're gonna start a trucking company, you need to know what trucks you're gonna need, what trailers you're gonna need, if you're gonna need spare tires, whatever it is. If you're gonna start a web development business, you need to know what skills, like you need to know like programming and stuff like that. So whatever business or side hustle you're trying to get into, you need to research and learn all these different things so that you understand before you get in, you spend all this money, you spend all this time and infrastructure setting it up to realize that your customer doesn't want the product you offer, the laws, don't prohibit this thing in your area and you get shut down. You have a bunch of fines and fees and there goes your business. There's already somebody doing it better than you, your competition, or you weren't prepared and don't have the right product. So do your research, understand, learn before you go ahead and start your business. All right, so for my second tip that I have for you guys, if you wanna start a business, is to write down a plan or make a plan. It, I'm not telling you to make an intricate, super fancy business plan, I, just a little sheet of paper that says your goals, what you wanna accomplish, and maybe how you're gonna do it. If you aim for nothing, you're gonna hit nothing. If you shotgun blast your business and you shotgun blast your energy, you're gonna be spread out, thin, burn out, accomplish nothing, and quit. 
And that's why a lot of people quit because they never accomplish their goals. But if you're like a sniper rifle and you focus in on your goals and you aim at them and you focus all your energy on that one goal, you're more likely to accomplish it. And I've seen that true in my life. If I don't have any goals, I'm not gonna accomplish anything. But instead of just thinking about my goals, I actually, like I literally write them down, you're more likely to accomplish them. I have this for my YouTube channel. I have a one page Word document that says what kind of videos I wanna make what I wanna be known for, and my goals for my YouTube channel. Like I wanna produce two videos a week uh, for you guys for an entire year. I wanna be monetized in 2020 and these goals that I have for myself so that I can focus on that and I can produce the best videos for you guys and I can have, be the best business owner as I can and I can be uh, you know, really effective in what I'm spending my time on so that I'm not just scattered and wasting time and making videos over here and videos over there and none of it makes sense and none of it's cohesive. Every time I go to upload a video, I go back to that paper and I say, does this video align with my brand? Does this video align with what I want my channel to be about? Does this video align with my goals? And if it doesn't, then I don't upload it. But if it does, then I'm happy. And I, no matter if I get a thousand views, a hundred views, a million views, I know that I'm producing valuable content. I'm trying to do the best that I can for you guys. Um, if you guys like want to help me set my goals, subscribe. And then we can uh, smash the like button every time you see the, my video. Thanks guys. I just wanna let you guys know just to write a little something down. It doesn't have to be fancy. It doesn't have to be spell checked. It just has to be something to where you can go and see and reflect. And when you're you're making moves or, or decisions, you can go and say, does this align with where I wanna be in one years, five years, 10 years, whatever it is, does this align with where I'm trying to go? And if it doesn't, then don't do it because you're just wasting effort and time and energy. And so this leads us right into tip number three. All right, so you've done the research you understand all the laws, everything that you need to do. You have a plan of how you're gonna do it. You've written down your goals. Now, step number three is just to jump in. Do not get analysis paralysis, over analyzing your competition, trying to understand everything. Just make that effort and just take the first step. Yes, it might be risky. Yes, it might not feel like you have a complete understanding, you know all everything about it, but just jump in. A lot of people just never get started. They have great ideas, great, great ideas, new ideas. They have this desire to do it and they have a passion that they found of something that they like to do. But a lot of people just never get started and you can never hit your goals if you never get started. So don't get stuck in the what ifs. What if I fail? What if I don't have enough money? What if I do? just don't get stuck in the what ifs. You've understood, you've done your research, you've made a plan, now it's time to jump in, commit. And that's the hardest, hardest part is making that commitment to saying, no matter what, no matter difficulty, no matter what roadblock comes up, I am going to surmount it, I'm gonna accomplish it, I'm gonna do better than it, no one's gonna stop me, nothing is gonna stop me, I'm gonna accomplish my goals, I don't care if I embarrass myself, I'm gonna accomplish my goals and I'm gonna do it. So just jump in, don't hesitate and just do it. So let's get right into step number four. It is to not be afraid, don't let the fear cripple you. Sometimes you can have family members, you can have friends, you can even have yourself telling you that you cannot do it. But I'm here to tell you today, if you've made this far, if you're watching this video, you can do it. You have what it takes. You are able to. If you just don't let the fear stop you from hindering you from not jumping in fully, there's going to be people that tell you that you can't do it. But don't let fear be a failure. Let your fear propel you over your failures and learn and take lessons from those failures. I don't know if this is gonna work out. Am I spending all this money on these cars and then they're all gonna get in accidents? I don't know. But that fear stops a lot of people. I see sometimes in my comments people that don't are, are fearful or they think it's risky. Yeah, it might be risky. I might be taking a risk, yes. it. That is real, I'm not denying that, but I'm going to let my failures propel me forward. Whether this business succeeds or fails, I'm going to continue, I'll start another business, I'll get some more money, I'll do it again, I'll do it better, whatever it is, but I'm not gonna let my fears stop me and sit me in this place where I'm gonna be stuck, and you shouldn't either because you have what it takes, you can make it and you can do it. That leaves us in the tip number five, that is to make adjustments as needed. Yes, I told you to write down your goals, but that does not mean that that is is set in stone. Sometimes things change, pivots happen, companies pivot all the time. You gotta make a wise decision. Just be flexible. 
understand what you're getting yourself into. Don't lock yourself in and just lock yourself into the ground and fail your business because you were unwilling to change or unwilling to do something different or not taking feedback. None of your customers like your product, but instead you're just like, no, that customer sucks. No, that customer sucks. No, they're wrong. Maybe you should listen to those reviews that they're leaving on your profile. Like, <laughs> hello, if they're saying the car's dirty, it might not be dirty to you, but maybe it was dirty to them. You don't know. So maybe you don't understand or know everything. If you're humble and you're honest and you accept feedback, changing and not being afraid to fail if things change and adapting to new things, new technologies, new ways of doing things, then you can be successful. I was talking to this contractor and he had started a company in like 1995, like, like almost when I was born pretty much. He said when he started, they used to like make blueprints on paper and that was the norm. People would like draw out blueprints for buildings and then turn them in as bids, the company that they were hired for. But as he progressed and his company grew, people started doing it on CAD and online and on digital 3D and all this. And he said that he didn't really want to do it because he didn't know how, but he had to learn and he adapted with this change. And eventually this became the norm. You couldn't turn in a blueprint anymore. And if you turned in a blueprint, you were never hired. And so if he would have just been stuck in his ways and he would have said, I don't want to do that. I want to do it the way I've always done it because it's worked and I'm never going to change then he would have ran his business into the ground and he would have been out of work. But instead he said, I don't like this, but I'm understanding the market that I'm in. This is what people want. And so I'm going to do it. And he learned how to use CAD. He learned how to use those three dimensional products that make the building. And he had a successful business. And because of not steering from the change, but was flexible and able to change and see the, the market heading a certain direction, he was able to be successful. And so I'm looking for that in myself. I look for that in my businesses. I hope that you guys understand that. So if you've been thinking about starting a business, don't let anybody stop you. Don't let your fear stop you. Just understand, learn, make a plan, set your goals, get your goals, and don't forget your goals. Set them, get them, and don't forget them. But I'll see you guys in this video right over here. I have five business ideas that you can start for less than $100. So I'll see you guys right over in that video. Thanks so much for watching.